video we have set at um, order schema order model so another models file so right now what I'm going to do is we'll do uh, user authentication here okay user login register so like this uh, right now I have ran my my server and uh, and uh, API folder and we ran server server and yeah so that's good and to make a user login register something like that kind of function we need to have route okay like mvc model view controller like this so we have, we have model and we need to have like route so for the route under the api i will say another fine call R O U T E S route okay and uh, this route I will create um, the route file so I will call user.js okay this is that will be the user route so uh, for the user route we will have uh, we, will, we will define user route express route but we don't have that express so we need to import const exprss express and we say require r e q u i r e r e q u i r e require and exbi ss express so our express is now um created so we know uh we uh that router can use from that express package okay so we have user route uh for the login uh we will have post methods okay because we need to send user email and password so i will say user route dot post um in this post we will say login okay select login so um do you remember we have in our database seeder uh we have like essence handler from express essence handler so we will use this again uh, in order to uh, in order to return the error message okay so we will use this one I will import at the top so I will wrap uh, with the essence handler under this essence handler we will say uh, async essence and IEQ and IES okay request and and request and response so with the arrow function key okay so um, I will say very clearly so this essence handler under this as an handler we have a sense request respond with the arrow function key under this uh, we will do our action uh, in order to lock in in order to so we will have two variable called email and password which one um, this email and password will be uh, from our request body okay from request body and then uh, we will say we will find we will find the user with the email in our model uh, user model okay in the in the database I will show where is our database here okay this user this user database okay so email if it is the email is is exists for this user model uh, where do the rest like this so in order to find a user from uh, from model we need to import that user model okay so I will import uh, const user equal require to you I R E require uh, from dot slab models under okay so our user has been imported so we will find one um, this is a mango CV function okay so we, we can have like find one which uh, we will find one with one so uh, the, with the email so we have got our user so after that uh, we can do like if okay if uh, user if user is exist we'll do the rest under the if condition okay so as if it is user is user doesn't uh, exit we will say uh, 
we were sent the uh, we were sent back the data like state code with the response state code with four or one okay four one and then we will say throw new error invalid email or password okay so this will be uh, retained if it is user user doesn't exist okay so if user it exists we'll do we'll send the user data back okay we'll send the res.json respond.json and our object type data type with the um, id will be uh, user.id okay and then an ame name will be user.name and we'll send another one is admin admin user dot is admin and token token and token will send token so the token will be right now i will say null and created -E -E at user dot created -E 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 at so this uh data will be retained if the user is it's it is bad if you do like it it is not a secure will so user if user doesn't provide a password um so if it is the, the the real user is trying to log in or not we don't know so if it is um trying to someone is trying to um store the credential or is trying to text our website using the different email and um it will be assess that person to enter if the user is access so this is not a right way so what we would we need to do is we need to define um the the the, the password okay if it is the password in match if it is the 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 password that user type from a request body is match where we will return like this so how can we do we will go to our model and in under the model we will define another uh, method okay so uh we will do like here uh vlntd validate pssword okay password match or not here so we will perform uh the the the, the validation of the password is match or not in here so like user schema we will create method okay we will create a uh, method match match pssword so this is our own method so in user schema we can create our own method that's why i call method after that we create our match password or anything you can um, give the name which you want so it will be essence function okay essence function and then uh, in the um, in the bracket we will say enter pss pssword this enter the password by the user will so we will receive this as a parameter uh, parameter enter password and then we will do like return we will return okay we will return the reset um, to that to that route user so return await because we use essence that's why we need to have with the await bcrypt okay so we don't have bcrypt so we need to import bcrypt package that's why uh why i use the bcrypt i will show you later const bcr1pd bcr1pd equal to require bcrypt.js okay this bcrypt, uh, we will call this bcrypt return bcrypt uh, dot c o m p a r e compare. We will compare, okay? We will compare because we save our password using uh, uh, bcrypt hash, okay? Hash. That's why uh, we need to compare the hash again. That that's why I'm using this bcrypt here again. So we will compare, okay? Compare the enter the password this enter the password the enter the password will be sending from this one okay this this password data will be sent 
to the user model by calling this method. So after this, we need to compare with with the this dot pssword. Which one? This one. Okay. This dot password. So uh, we have compare, and if it didn't match, it will return the reset true or false, something like this. Okay. So uh, we can do here. Uh, we can do like await user this user okay this user we have created the the the, the method our own method which is MATC match p a s s w r d okay and then we need to send this password to that uh, method as a parameter so this password will be uh, sending this model user okay because we have user model will be equal to const user that's why we are trying to find like okay like this okay user like this this user model okay so uh, we send that matter with the password so if it match uh, we need to say if user is exit and then an operator and the both condition need to be match okay so if the user is it and the password is match we will do the rest like this if not we will return the state code 401 and throw the error infinite email or password or infinite credential something like this so in order to call in order to use this route we need to have a sport our module okay module route uh export army module modu le module dot exports equal uh we are going to this okay this user route export this user route so we have our module and we'll go in our index and like this okay i mean like this we need to create another route okay this will be like routes for user Okay, so uh, here ABI select users. So this will be like ABI select ABI select user select login. If it is we call login, uh, we need to bring our user route. User route. Okay, this user route will be imported from route folder under user route. You see, so. Uh, we have our user route and then when we access this uh, URL ABI select user select login so this login route will be called so uh, let's try it here okay so I will create another request here at request it will be user underscore login okay so this will be post method and look at who ABN slash not seat ABN select user select login and then we will send the the the, the uh, not form data it will be like okay so we need to say in the header we need to say JSON data uh, I mean content Content type will be JSON application JSON. Okay, so here change it will be email e -M -A -I -N. email will be like admin. We have uh, we have admin note.com admin note.com uh, admin note.com and password. We need to send password as well. Password. A password will be one two three four five six. Uh, here is the hash password. But when we uh, see that, uh, as you see, the password one two three four five six. Okay, so let's try. Uh, we have got an error. So we have got an error. Let's see. Use a login. Okay. The port 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 three thousand, not nine. 900 uh no 9000 so here also 3000 okay i will try again 
so now we have got our error message okay because we use uh, error handler with the express so we use uh, we have got our error which is type error cannot straightaway email request a body is undefined and user okay so header counter type I know because we need to add one more thing here if we try to uh, send the JSON data like this the express uh, does not know which one we are trying to uh, trying to trying to send the data so uh, we need one thing to fix this problem here express okay so after enter here under here we need to add like this app store use express json so it mean uh, we will use the json data formats for the express so the Express will understand okay we are sending the json data after that if i send as you see uh admin and it admin it true token is not created at and everything okay so we need to uh return email as well also so in our user route, uh, this is the model. I will close uh, user here. And after name, I will say email as well, okay? Here, email, email, and user email. So uh, let's try it again. Okay, so we have got our email and everything that token is not. So, uh, if I send with the round credential here, like one, two, three, four, five, as you see, error, invalid email or password. So we have received error here. Okay. So everything is fine now for the login. We have created. It's very easy and simple. I will show you from, um, I will show you again. So we create the route folder and then under route, we, we create user.js route. So in here we import Express and we use uh, we define user route and uh, this route will be using from Express router and we add uh, to handle the error is a handler and for the user uh, user model we we import user model in order to find the, the 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 user with the input email so we find one if the user is form um, we do validate the password as well so for this user dot match password we created the match password and uh, the user model here okay validate with the with the android password like pcrypt compile because we store the hash password using pcrypt so uh if it is match password uh we do this action okay we return the data id name email and address as we return with the straight code 401 and error message and then we export our user route so we can use this user route module in here okay so we we, we import again and then we set up app.use is spread.json in order to work with the json data if you haven't uh import this one you will get error like me so after that uh we need to uh, define the route for user so uh, we define API select user. So if we use this login under user route, so this function will be worked and we will get the result like this. Okay. So I think uh, this is for now. And in the next video, uh, we will validate, uh, we will generate the token and we will send the token back. Okay. Uh, oh, five, six, I will show. So here we set token as a no, but in the in next video we will generate the token and send the token back and we'll do the registration as well. Thank you guys. See you next video.